Hey guys, today we are going to be doing some deep cleaning and organizing in the kitchen, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I want to welcome you here to Carrie Grace. All right, so today I've got some time and I'm going to tackle some cleaning and organizing in my kitchen. Now I know it is already the third week in January. I think I mentioned in a video somewhere or a post somewhere, I was not home the first week of January. Second week of January, I was in the bed sick. It is now the third week of January and I feel like I'm playing catch up. So I decided that today I had some time. So I am going to work on my January um, home projects in the Passionate Penny Pincher Home Planner. Now, it doesn't matter if you have this planner or not. It doesn't matter if you follow the Fly Lady system, you use your own system. None of that matters. We all need to do these things at some point. So today, I am going to be deep cleaning my refrigerator, deep cleaning my freezer. We are going to organize under my kitchen sink and we're gonna organize and clean out the spice cabinet. So that is what is on the agenda today. Now, will I do all of it today? Like physically today, probably not. But it's all going to be in this one video <laughs> so that is what we're going to do the first project for january was to organize the pantry i'm not doing that one because i did do that earlier this month the week that like the end of last week i did a big sam's club haul and i had so much stuff that i basically had to organize my pantry and i didn't film it i just did it so i'm going to show you my pantry really quick and then we are going to get started on the next thing, which is the refrigerator. All right, so here's a quick look in my pantry. Now I do clean out my pantry pretty regularly. I usually do this kind of just a quick clean out once a week. And then like when I get groceries and stuff, um, I did a pretty good clean out this last time though, because it was really, really bad after the holidays. All of that is holding pretty well, so I'm going to let that be and we're going to move on to the fridge and freezer. Alright, so once a week I also usually do a quick clean in my fridge. It has been a couple of weeks since I have done that. So today we're going to do a big clean. Everything's coming out and everything is getting wiped down, put back, it's expired, it's going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one shelf at a time. The reason for that is because my kids are home. I'm probably going to have to stop and do something. I'm going to have to stop and rotate laundry. <laughs> so we're just going to do things one at a time so that things don't get left out longer than they need to be. Also, before we get into that, this has nothing to do with today's video, but that is a bag and a half of things that I pulled out of my closet and bathroom cabinets that are getting donated and I'm super excited about it. I just thought you should know. All right, so to wipe everything out, I'm just using a damp dishcloth. I did um, warm water on here, a little bit of dish soap, and then I've got a dry rag. So I'm gonna wipe things and then dry things off before I put things back. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys know that this project took me so much longer than I thought it was going to take. Now, I was convinced that because I do this fairly regularly, like weekly, that I was just going to fly through this. I was wrong. Something that I don't do weekly is clean out all the shelves right here in the door. So I'm going to kind of just make a mental note to myself that I need to do this a little more regularly. Um... I mean, it wasn't like it was terrible, terrible, but there were definitely crumbs and smudges and things like that. Now, something else that I noticed is that I had little tiny pieces of butter right here. So I decided to go ahead and just put those on my butter dish in the counter. I didn't want to put them back in the fridge. But there's going to be lots of little things throughout this process that I am going to like put in different containers and things like that just to kind of take up less room in the fridge i just like i said my main goal with this was just really give everything a really good wipe down and you know make sure that everything is functioning well i did take out each bin 
from the door and wash it with just hot sippy water. I did not take out the glass shelves. I just decided that I wasn't going to do that. I didn't feel like they needed it. Some of them, they had, you know, like more dirt than others. And I was able to kind of slide them back and forth on the track and clean the track out. But it just didn't require me to take them out. If you need to take yours out, take them out. All right, so I need to know, do you put labels in your refrigerator? Now, this is something that I have done in the past. Like I have labeled where the milk goes, where the tea goes, where the salad dressings go, where the like regular condiments go. But I feel like I can look in here and kind of know where things go, like grouped category wise, but I don't feel like anybody in my family can see it feel like they take things out and they never put things back in the same spot so let me know do you label your fridge do you not label your fridge are people in your family good about taking things out and putting them back where they got them or do they put things back just kind of willy-nilly wherever it lands And there is always, always, almost one container that is always empty that somebody put back in the fridge. Y'all, that was barely any lemonade, but I did finish it just so that I didn't have to put it back in the fridge. Alright, so while you are watching me wipe down shelves and put things in and out of my fridge, I thought I would give you my favorite tips for keeping my fridge fairly tidy. Now, number one, I like to do this pretty frequently. I don't do it to this degree. I know I've kind of already mentioned it, but most weeks before I get groceries, I like to come in here, get rid of leftovers, um, things that are noticeably, you know, bad, they get thrown away things like that. Another tip is to do this when your refrigerator is not full. So before you go to the grocery store, before you go to Sam's Club, it's easiest to do when the fridge isn't completely full. My next tip is to keep things very simple. I find that if I have too many containers in here to organize, that I end up losing actual space. So you can, you'll see here in just a little bit that I do have one organizing container in here, but for the most part, I feel like they take up more space than they organize. So it depends on your fridge. It depends on the kind of food that you buy, depends on like, you know, people that live in your home, but definitely consider that organization tools in a fridge aren't necessarily the best thing. If they work for you, that's great, but don't feel like it's something that you have to have. My other tip for keeping things organized is to try really hard to keep like items together. All right, so right here you can see I've got salsa in a bowl and it's taking up a lot of space. So I simply moved it to a mason jar that's going to take up a lot less room and now I have more room 
in my fridge. This bin is an example of what I was talking about earlier. This is my lunch bin. I usually keep things like lunch meat, cheese, um, mayonnaise, things for making sandwiches, stuff like that, so that when I'm making sandwiches and lunches, it's easy to just pull this out. Everything is in there. However, it takes up a lot of room. So over the holidays, I found that it was taking up too much room. So I emptied it out, put it in the pantry. But now that things are kind of back to normal, I am putting it back in the fridge. Does anybody else hate how much room those big giant containers of spinach from Sam's take up? They take up so much room. So I put them in Ziploc bags with a paper towel and they last a lot longer. All right, so you can see I finally have everything back in here Everything is nice and cleaned out and nice and organized and it feels really, really good to have this done. Okay, so the next task on my list is to work on this freezer. Now you can see it is stuffed, things are not organized, it is a mess and that's okay we're going to tackle it so i'm going to pull everything out i'm not going to do this shelf by shelf i'm going to pull everything out all at once you can see i've got a bin that's practically empty so that is taking up room very unnecessarily <laughs> so like i said we're going to take everything out i'm going to put it on the counter a lot of this is going to move to our freezer in the garage it's a lot bigger it holds a lot and it's easier to organize so the only things that i keep in this freezer typically are things that we use very regularly but I like to store all of my most of my meat not all of it but most of it in the bigger freezer because it's easier for me to organize and I can kind of see everything all at once so that's what we're going to work on you're not going to see everything you're going to see right here these shelves and things like there's crumbs it's kind of grimy in here I'm going to just wipe everything down um and then we're gonna put everything back. All right, so I had to put my camera on the charger, but you can see I got all of this done. And like I said, I put a lot in our big deep freezer. So I've got stuff for smoothies right there. There's so much more that we have than I realized. Like I didn't know we had that much fruit. So I'm glad I did this. I put ice cream, nice and easy to get to. Down here we have more like convenient foods like chicken fingers, frozen ravioli, tater tots, things like that. Down here, I've got just a bag of uh, chicken tenderloins and also some frozen wings. Right here, I've just got like butter and things that I freeze from baking. And then we've got some like breakfast bits that just kind of need to be eaten up. Some veggies, some more butter and garlic bread down here. And now I'm gonna show you everything that is in our deep freezer because that is where we keep the majority of our food. I'm not deep cleaning in here today because I did this when we got it. This is actually new to us. It is used, but everything is um, categorized pretty well. I've got, um, you know, like a shelf for specific things and that works really well for us. It has been very nice to have extra freezer storage, especially with two teenage boys that like to eat a lot. Um, and I feel like it's definitely saving us some money. All right, so I got that done, took a quick little break, and now it's time to get back to it. I don't have a lot of time before I need to start dinner. So instead of doing under the kitchen sink, I am going to do my spice cabinet because I feel like I can tackle it pretty quickly. About to flip the camera around, show it to you. I'm just gonna pull everything out, give everything a good wipe down, and then put everything back. For the most part, everything is organized pretty well. Um, I do go through this periodically. I still may find some surprises. I may find some things that we don't need or expired or whatever. 
but that's why we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, I'll show you the before of the spice cabinet, and then we're gonna get busy. All right, so right here is where I have most of just like regular spices, and then I've got more spices and kind of a few little things up here. And then up there is baking supplies. I'm not gonna handle that right now. I'm really gonna just focus on um, spices. So I'm gonna start with the second shelf because I like to start at the top and work my way down. For those of you that are looking through my, you know, cabinets and pantry and freezer and fridge and everything and thinking, wow, everything is pretty straight. Everything is pretty organized. You don't have a lot of excess. You're not throwing a lot of things away. I want to encourage you, start where you are at. The first time that I started doing these projects, they were hard. I had a lot of stuff. I had a lot of things I had to throw away. But the more you do this, the faster you get, the better you get at purging things kind of all along. And so things are going to always continue to get better. But the trick is to just do this frequently. It's to do it systematically. It's to, you know eventually get back to it. Sometimes I let it go too long. Um, I try to stay on top of these kind of tasks because like I said, the more you do them, the easier they get, the faster they get, and the more organized your home stays overall. overall. So if you're finding this hard, just know that that's okay. It will get easier. Right here, I'm just kind of showing you that the bottom of that cabinet was full of crumbs just from the spices and things. So this is definitely necessary even though the cabinet didn't look like a total complete wreck it was dirty right here this is dirty so it is important to maintain things in your home see here in just a second there were a few things that don't go here that I needed to move to the pantry all right so this is quick and painless just as I had hoped so these are like the rubs and seasonings that we tend to use the most these have all come from Sam's Club that's why the container is all the same and then I've got like salts back here and then things that we don't use as much that is behind them I've got our ramekins where they're easy to get to and then these little packets of things and then down here, again, I really just kind of wiped everything down, straightened it back up. Um, we have a lot of things on here that we use pretty regularly. And then I have some empty containers. There's one back here and then one back there. I put those back there because sometimes we do like to make our own rubs for certain things. And so I like to keep those containers. I need to make a new thing of ranch. And I think there was something else that my husband wanted to make. So I left those in there. But now it is all nice and clean. All right, guys. So today the last thing we're going to do is we're going to clean out and organize under my kitchen sink. Now I'm going to show it to you here in just a minute. I purchased some things to organize this last year. And overall, everything has worked really well except for one area. I have one area that has a like a Lazy Susan that has some products on. And the bottles, when you spin them all the way around, it gets stuck under the garbage disposal. So I either need to figure out how to move that over a little bit, to shift it, or I may need to just get rid of it altogether. All right, so since that wasn't working, I was trying to figure out between two different things that would work. So when I was in Target, you'll see I'm gonna insert a picture right here. 
I had a clear bin and then I also had just those plastic shoe boxes and I was trying to decide which was going to work the best for the space that I have. So I went to the cleaning aisle. I put some method cleaners in there and another size bottle so I could kind of see and I decided that the clear bin that was nicer, more expensive, wasn't really going to work just right because for one it's taller and I felt like it was going to be harder to pull the products out very easily and then also it just was a little bit bigger overall and I just didn't think I wanted to do that. So cheap shoe boxes is the way I went. So we're going to see how all that works. I'm going to show you where we're starting, going to pull everything out, wipe everything down, and then put it all back and call it good. All right, so here is my current situation. Not terrible. Like I said, I did this last year, kind of gave it an overhaul, but it definitely needs to be wiped out and kind of straightened up. Like I said, this turntable isn't working right there. It may be that I can move it and use it a little bit differently, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna pull it all out and take a look. The big plastic bottle that says Dawn, but has a yellow liquid in it, that is actually a Lysol concentrate. I want to encourage you guys, if you purchase cleaners, to look for the concentrate. Now, I know some of you, you like to make your own cleaners. That is awesome. However, if you like to purchase store-bought, um, look for the concentrate because it will save you a ton of money. My husband and I, we figured out the other day that if you purchase the Mrs. Myers bottle of concentrate, it is $9.99 at Target. If you purchase one 16 ounce bottle of the actual Mrs. Meyer spray, that little bottle is $4.99. We did the math on it because it tells you on the back of the bottle how much to use for a bottle. Um, well, it actually tells you for a gallon of water and then we kind of did all the math, break it down. So basically, you see that Mrs. Meyer's bottle? That's the concentrate in my sink you can make 28 spray bottles, the 16 ounce spray bottles, with that one bottle of concentrate. So if you do the math, $10 for the bottle of concentrate, or to make 28 bottles, or you can buy 28 bottles at $4.99 a piece, and that will cost you $638 and some change. So, if you like Mrs. Myers or whatever kind of cleaner you like, look for the concentrate. It will save you money. All right, so right here, I'm still trying to see if I can make that Lazy Susan work. It doesn't. So we're going back to the plastic bins and I moved the dishwasher tabs to the other side because it just worked better with the layout. So sometimes you just have to kind of move things around and try again. Okay, so clearly I am going for functional, and this was functioning really well. We just have trash bags down there, and just little tools that we reach for. This we reach for pretty often. The rest of it, it just kind of varies. This is stuff that we don't use every single day. It's got like my carpet cleaner, and then my Mrs. Myers um, concentrate. Dawn Power Wash. We don't use that all the time, but sometimes I definitely need it. And then also my stainless steel spray. I probably reach for that a couple times a month. Over here, what I ended up doing, because this box didn't fit um, this direction, it needed to go this direction, and which is fine. I left this stuff back there. Those are just like... Um, Things we don't reach for often, they are on a paper towel. That way, if they were to leak or anything, we're not going to have an issue. I changed spots, and I put the dishwasher tabs here. I don't put the lid on this. I'm actually going to throw the lid away. This thing busted. There's like a crack in the bottom now. So, um, I'm never going to put food in this again. And it's just kind of a pain to have to take 
the lid off to get dishwasher tubs so I'm just gonna throw that away but this is gonna be great this is gonna function really well with got my little thing here to keep the scrub brush we've got the things that we use the most right here up front and that's really all that I need I just need it to function well so this is all clean and straightened up so it feels good to have this done all right so real quick let me show you where these are at these are the weekly home projects in the passionate penny pincher home planner all right so whether or not you have the passionate penny pincher planner that's not the point the point is it's always good to clean out your pantry your fridge your deep freezer under your sink and your spice rack and i am going to go ahead and check all of these off these are the January tasks. I did them kind of all at once because sometimes it's just easier for me to film that way. I had some chunks of time that made it easy for me to do. These tasks are spread throughout your planner if you have the planner in January. So don't feel like you have to do them all at once. Do them one at a time. Anytime you have a little chunk of 15 minutes, figure out what little thing you can do. And I am gonna go back and check these off in the weeklies because I can. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some motivation to get up and get some cleaning and organized done in your kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing down below and I will see you guys soon.